the whites are working hours on end to clear out flood water and sewage from their cabin. They came up through the bathtub and sink and places like that. Their home is buried in a foot and a half of silt. Yeah, a little mud to move. Now the whites are digging out the place that's been in the family for 85 years. It's not a happy event to see it the way it is, but the cabin will recover. Uh, we're all very lucky here. There are other parts of Ruido, so that, uh, which is much worse. But basically what happened here is the river changed course and it's over about 15 feet lapping up against our cabin now. Sharon Stewart isn't as fortunate. I'm also wondering if I should go ahead and put my contact information here. She's one of dozens who's declaring home damage and signing up for assistance. I'm, I'm glad our government's here to help us. Businesses like the Whispering Pine Cabins are trying to move forward, but it isn't easy. Due to the flooding in Ruidoso, I'm forced to cancel my reservation. The owners have gotten dozens of emails and phone calls from customers reluctant to visit after hearing about the devastation, and this place is losing money. $15,000 in the last few days, and we are we're completely untouched by the flood. Ruidoso is heavily dependent on tourism and businesses want to get the word out that it's still a safe place to visit and this flooding is simply a minor setback. In Ruidoso, Ilana Gold, KOAT Action 7 News.